welcome back. We have been looking at this program called PAN, PAM, which is stands for Plan Applier Mechanism. And we have seen that it works in three phases, the predictive phase, the bottom up phase and the incorporation phase. And what it has, it has a knowledge base in which for every goal of every type of goal, it has a set of plans that can be used to achieve that goal. And those plans may have sub sub goals and those sub goals may have sub plans and eventually it will go down to the level of actions essentially. So, it has this knowledge in its knowledge base and basically when it reads the story, it is trying to figure out as to where does that sentence fit it into this whole goal plan hierarchy that it has and then tries to understand the story by, by inferring as to which plan was active and which uh, sub goal was active and so on. So, for example, here what we have seen in blue is the plan 2 with, with sub goal 2 essentially. So, the predictive component is the first to try and explain the new input essentially. It has access to a number of previous predictions made by PAM. So, some of them come from themes like hunger drive, or maintaining health and that kind of stuff. A prediction is a condition part of a rule that Pam guessed would be important. It is doing abduction here. It does not have to be necessarily true, but it could possibly be true. The predictive component serially matches the input with precondition of each active rule essentially. If a prediction is confirmed, then the rule is passed on to the incorporation component along with the match rules and any rules that were tried up in the bottom up phase. It also keeps track of goals which are being fulfilled and if no prediction is met, then it passes control to the bottom up component which tries to infer something which will match the pred prediction. The bottom up component generates plausible explanations of inputs essentially. So, the bottom up component uses PAM's knowledge of intentions and the rules are indexed in a discrimination net of the kind that we saw in the rated network. It makes inferences in a test mode because the rule that matched may still lead to a blind alley of some kind. It does not make changes to the story representation. Instead, as it makes an inference, it passes it back to the predictive component which tries to see whether a prediction was matched. If it cannot find a rule, then PAM has no way of understanding the story. The third phase is the incorporation phase. So, when a prediction is confirmed by an input, which could either be the input received from in the story or it could be an inference made by the bottom up component. Then the incorporation component integrates the input and the inferences into the story representation. It takes as input the sequence of rules that led to the match predictions. It uses the rules again and adds the inferences to the story as well. After that, it removes predictions that are no longer needed, including the one that was met and generates new predictions of what it expects to hear next essentially and it passes the control back to the predictive component. So, you can see that what is happening, you start with the predictive component and when you see something which is predicted, you give it to the incorporation mode. Otherwise, you call the bottom up mode and the bottom up mode will generate a new inference and you see whether that inference was expected in the prediction mode. If not, then you go back to the bottom up mode. So, you can go through this bottom up top down predictive mode cycle till you reach a reach something which is predicted, then you give it to the incorporation mode. So, let us say that at some stage of story reading, Pam reads about an action. So, Pam has something called focus. So, this rectangular box that you see called the input gap, gap is like a slot, the, 
uh, Vilensky's program talks of it as a gap essentially and anything that is being read is fed into this gap. So, PAM is always looking at this gap to see what is the next input essentially. So, let us say that it reads an action essentially, reads about an action essentially. What the predictive mode will do is to look at each of the predictions that are there on the top, there are three predictions to see if the input gap, whatever it contains, whether it matches the pattern or not. So, it tries them one by one. If it does not match, then it will go to the bottom of mode essentially. So, note that the predictions are the antecedents of the rule that we are talking about. So, pattern action rules we have and it is going, it is, it is expecting to see those patterns essentially. So, PAM was not expecting to hear about an action. So, it needs to explore possible plans this action could have been part of. So, it goes into the bottom of mode and looks at some take take and tries to see what possible plans this action could have been part of. Let us say there are three plans here and it will try them one by one to see whether plan one succeeds or plan two is what we are looking for and so on. So, now what it does is that it places that plan that it has picked up into that input gap and hands control over to the predictive component which will basically match them one by one as it did with the action that it first saw essentially. So, in the predictive component again you look at all the patterns that are there in your prediction and again if it does not match then you give it back to the bottom of component which basically means that PAM will now to see that this plan one is it part of some goal that was expected that we were expecting to hear about. That is what happens in the next stage in the bottom of mode. Let there be only one goal for this plan one. What PAM will do is now place this goal into the input gap. Input gap is its focus that is always looking at. It has got a set of predictions and it is looking at the input gap to see whether I am some something comes in there which matches my predictions essentially. So, this goal one is placed in the gap and it goes to the predictive component and again it does the same process of uh, trying the three patterns one by one. So, in this example, let us say that it does not succeed again. So, again it goes back to the bottom of mode and it will now try to infer a plan that this goal could be a sub goal of essentially because it is searching along this path of action plan one goal one. So, let goal 1 have no further inferences that you can make which means it is a dead end. So, it will have to abandon that plan 1 and now it will try plan 2 which is another plan that this action that we are we started listening about. So, we have just heard about one action and we are trying to understand why that action is there. So, it will now go to plan 2 and again go back to the predictive mode and in the predictive mode again we will try these things one by one. The, the three patterns that are representative of our predictions and again it says that no, uh, it does not succeed. So, it goes back to uh, this component and now it will try to look for a goal for plan 2, whether this plan 2 could have been part of some goal that we were expecting to hear about. So, let us say this is goal 2. So, again goal 2 is played in the place in that gap and send to the predictive component and in the predictive component again it will try the predictions one by one and again let us say that it says no. So, it goes back to the bottom of component and it will try to see whether this goal 2 is part of some plan essentially is a sub goal in some plan. So, in this case there happen to be two plans and one theme that this goal 2 could have been part of 
So it takes the first one which is plan 2.1 and adds it to the input gap. So plan 2.1 has gone into the in input gap and again it's gone to the predictive mode. Again it will try them one by one and in this example again no now it succeeds. So now it has succeeded. So it has found something that it was expecting. So this plan 2.1 has a prediction waiting for it in, in particular this prediction and now it goes to the incorporation mode. So it's got those four chain of four things. This was a story that was built so far from the sentences that we saw earlier. Now it has heard this action and made these inferences and arrived at plan 2 1 and plan 2 1 was being expected. It was a plan for this goal z. It incorporates the whole thing into the story. So this whole long chain of things is the story. And it will now generate new predictions uh, which it expects to see next essentially. So, these predictions are on the right hand side of the screen. So, there are two we have seen, but there could have been more. So, each of these things that we have uh, understood could predict something essentially. So, we will take a break and look at one more example before we will soon wind up with PAM, PAM as well. Essentially.